this is kind of just a bigger picture question about the ride here, but um, I know you talked about basically Mike Woodson teaching you more about just the history of like, Indian basketball. Like, when you were growing up, what do you remember about the IU Purdue rivalry? I guess like, are there any more that just kind of stick on your mind? If I'm being honest, I'm like, I'm growing up, I was not an IU or Purdue fan. So, um, just learning the history throughout my four years and really in first place about the job um, it was huge. I uh, was thinking about this, and credit to Purdue because they had a great team. Okay. Uh, and they found a way, and uh, we did something that hasn't been done in a long time. We just got to keep building on it. Trace, what about you? told us all along that Jalen could do this. You guys have always said that. When he has a game like this tonight, just how, for the other four of you out there, how do you, how do you take it all in? Um, absolutely. We feed off of him. Um, I told him before the game even started, I said, you're going to get your opportunities. Get him up and score the ball. And I kept telling him, Coach Reynolds, trying to get me baskets and I told him, I said, coach, not right now. Um, we're riding him right now and when a guy's hot like that, you just got to keep giving him the ball. Trace, where different. were you 10 years ago at this time, around this time? 10 years ago, what would I be, 13? I was probably, I don't know, I was probably at home, probably watching, watching uh, basketball, not thinking that I could compete at this level. Um, that was definitely before my growth spurt, so, but, um, it's crazy how life comes at you on 10 years of 10 years ago. I would never really think that I'd be able to do this. Trish, what is it about Fino that makes him capable, not just playing well, but this is 35 on the road in a rivalry game, number five team in the country. What makes him capable of this? Um, it just shows his maturity. Um, he plays the game at his own pace. Um, he knows how to come off ball screens really well. He knows how to read. And um, tonight he just did an excellent job. And, Credit to him because we really rode, rode him. He's a freshman, uh, but coming into a hostile environment like this, probably the loudest place we'll, have, we'll play at. Um, and doing this, it just, it just shows what kind of kid he is and just how good he really is. How much have you improved as a passer and coming from the early part of the second half with one on the big line? Oh, uh, yeah, um, they, they threw the double team at me, so I would try to get my teammates involved, especially when I wasn't scoring that much. And so I'm um, just trying to impact the games at different levels. Um, I, I told Race that if they come from the big, crack down on the guard that's going to be guarding him, and I think he got two baskets from that. Or um, telling Miller to not hide in the corner, and come up a little bit so I can hit that swing pass for him. So. Trace, where does this victory rank? And I think you're 10 years here in the end. Um, this victory probably is the best victory that we've had. I'm um, just playing a complete 40 minutes, um, never getting wavered. Got down early and fought back, and then got down and we're down in the second half, and then we just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and chugging along, and then we just kept building the lead, and then we just rolled it out. Can you tell me the significance of? Thoughts on Trey Galloway? 13-5, no no turnovers, plays 38 minutes, defends Braden well. Uh, he played an excellent game. Um, he was excellent defensively, always pressuring the ball. We call him Crazy Man for a reason, but um. He did all the little things. He was on the floor, and he's going to give it 110% when he's out there, and that's what we need from him. Trace, you just, win a game like this in your last season at IU, the way you just talked about how you had to grind this out, what was the feeling like seeing the last second take off and then coming off the floor? Get him a statue! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, but um, it really just it shows why the, the reason why I came back, to be in games like this. Throughout my four years here, um, we've had little little games where we beat teams like Purdue last year, which I wasn't even really a part of because – uh, I was in foul trouble, but um, just to come back and sweep them this year, it just shows you that I made the right decision, and um, we just got to keep building on it. What's the significance of this? You guys win a game like this, as important as it is, but to come out in the second half and to put it to them and win on the road here as the season is winding down, getting towards the tournament, and as this team is getting better. Uh, absolutely. Um, we folded against Michigan State. Um, we were up on them early and kind of just let that one go. And so um, a big thing for our team, we can't lose two in a row. And so we were very locked in for this game. Our defensive plan, Coach Yaw did a great job um, with doubling. He's still going to get his because he's a monster. And so, um, but we held the other guys in check, and that's what you got to do when you play them. And so that's what we did. You talked about unwavering. How do you stay locked in when only three guys score in the, in the first half? You don't get a bucket until under 12 in, in the game. Um, I just really just rely on my teammates and just try to do things other words to impact the game, whether it's just being a leader, talking to them, telling them things to do, um, defensive end on the floor, um, trying just to do the little things and helping my team. I know when I got foul trouble in the second half, I just kept telling my teammates, we just got to ride it out, keep doing the little things, and we'll be fine. Can you describe the significance of this sweep? 
Huh? Can you describe the significance of this sweep? First time in 10 years that IU has swept Purdue. This goes back to Tom Crane. Um, I think it just it shows what Coach Woody is building. Um, we're trying to get IU back on the map, and um, just him being in his second year and me being able to be a part of this is a huge deal for me. Thanks, Thanks.